that runs from me in my half in, half out braids. I'm gonna be braiding my second braid while I tell you what the hell is going on. Um, I'm starting a new vlog today and it's going to be kind of, I don't know, just a couple days in my life. We'll see how long this goes on for. But my original intention was to make like just a weekend in my life, but then I went to Richmond for the entire weekend and just got back today on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday to be exact. And I am feeling not only disheveled and run down from a weekend of going to my sister-in-law's concert and having a little birthday party situation that we went to last night as well for our friend Mike. Now I'm home and I'm like, well, it's the Super Bowl and I normally make a lot of food for the Super Bowl. And had I been home, I would have prepared early on, but I didn't because I was having a good time. So today we're going to be doing all of the things. So we just got back and I need to go grocery shopping because I need some ingredients for the things that I'm making. I'm getting one pre-made thing, which is just like a shrimp platter. It's like a cocktail shrimp platter that Finley specifically requested for Super Bowl Sunday this year. So I'm gonna get him that and they like sell them pre-made at Wegmans or whatever. So I'm gonna go get one of those. And then I'm also making lemon ricotta poppy seed cakes for something sweet because we love lemon baked goods in this house. And then I'm also making a original chicken enchilada bean dip recipe, but I'm making it with artichoke instead of shredded chicken. Because actually, artichokes, if you just break them up, like the canned artichokes, you know, they're great as an alternative for chicken. So I already have the artichoke here. I just need like some certain ingredients. But um, like I said, because it's the Super Bowl, I'm rooting for the Chiefs. But it doesn't matter because we'll see who wins on the, on the big day, on the big game, which is not happening for five and a half more hours. It's currently 12.51. So let's just do a couple days of my life of cooking and baking and hanging out. I love that Kenzie Elizabeth, my friend and fellow YouTuber on here, and she's a podcast, she has all the things. But um, I love that she coined the term breadwinning housewife because that's the energy that I'm going to be channeling in this vlog. So this is gonna be my breadwinning housewife vlog where I just cook and bake a lot and hang out and maybe clean and get some other things done. Who knows? But I got my braids done and I'm ready to go to the grocery store. I have coffee in a to-go mug waiting for me downstairs because it was a two hour drive back from Richmond and I did not have any this morning. So I need some to go to the stove on Sunday. It's gonna be crazy. I already know it. Wow, this place is bumping, bumping. But really, Wegmans is popping today, just as I expected. It's also very, very rainy outside, and I'm wearing my farm jacket, but not my rain jacket, and it wasn't raining this hard when I left my house, so... <laughs> Oops, just burped a little bit, that's fine. Anyway, I have my list. Do you guys wanna see what's on it? I'm ready to go in. And hopefully it'll just be more of a swift excursion than a really long time, but you never know. I have to get my bags out of the trunk. Look at my glasses right now. <laughs> well, Wegmans was just as insane as I expected, if not even more insane, because people were shopping for Valentine's Day as well. There was like a custom chocolate strawberry man there. I honestly forgot that people even get each other chocolate strawberries on Valentine's Day. I forgot that that was like a trope of the day. But yeah, there was some guy there like, I can make you anything you want. And he was like at the front of the store and they had all these bouquets around him. So it was just, you know, as soon as you went in, chaos. And then everybody was blowing up the deli department, but I didn't even really need to go get deli stuff. I just had to go over and get my shrimp and I got everything I needed. So I'll show you when we go home. But here's a little brief overview for you. Shrimp are the precious cargo. We have these on holidays, so today's a holiday in my book. I'm back from the grocery store and I've collected all of my recipes and I'm preheating the oven and I wanted to show you all of the ingredients because as soon as I unloaded my grocery bags, I was like, I don't need to do a grocery haul because basically all of the ingredients that I just got are just for these recipes, so I'm just gonna show them to you. But I wanted to cook and bake with you today because I cannot even explain to you the amount of suggestions I got when I asked for like content ideas at the beginning of 
the year. So many of you were like, I just want to see more recipes. Where are the recipes at, girl? And I'm like, okay, here I go. So today we're going to be making hot chicken enchilada bean dip, but instead of chicken with artichokes. And then for something sweet, I'm making honey glazed lemon ricotta poppy seed cakes. And I'm very excited. And both of these recipes are from Half Baked Harvest. And I'll link them down below in the description. I love her recipes. She's so fucking good. And I make them without meat all the time. Okay, so what we're gonna need for the hot chicken enchilada bean dip is all of this. We have a big poblano pepper. We have garlic powder, smoked paprika, Mexican cheese, a yellow onion, pinto beans, and artichoke hearts quartered in brine. This is just my EVOO. I also have some salsa verde back there, some chives to put on top, some sour cream for the dip, red enchilada sauce, and this cheese because I thought I was getting cream cheese, but instead I got this, and it's fine. Apparently it has one third percent less fat than regular cream cheese, but I wasn't seeking that. It was more of an accidental purchase, but that's fine. And then we're gonna eat it with Tostitos scoops. And I also got two avocados back there that I might like chop up and kind of lay on top but they're not that ripe yet and then this is all for the glazed lemon poppy seed cakes so first I got cake flour because the recipe calls for pastry flour and I don't have that I just have all-purpose so I looked up an alternative and it was like cake flour it's just better for stuff like that so I don't know I got it and then I'm going to be zesting and juicing some lemons three eggs coconut oil. I don't know where our coconut oil is, and this one is just already ready to be put into a little measuring cup. And then homemade vanilla extract. We have some baking powder. Chia seeds I'm using instead of poppy seeds because I could not find poppy seeds for the life of me at the store, but it's okay because I made lemon poppy seed muffins like a week ago with these and they turned out completely fine. And then this is just my butter, some raw honey. We have ricotta cheese, which is going to make it really soft and delicious, the cakes. And then and some maple syrup. I have like the dredges of one and another bottle back there. I'm preheating my oven to 350 and I'm gonna make the baked goods first. So let's pull up that recipe. Also, while I'm cooking today, I'm going to be listening to this podcast that I was on and it's with my friends Ariel and Raylene and they host a book podcast called Books Unbound. And this year they transitioned to doing more um, video podcasts. So you can watch it on YouTube under their YouTube channel Books Unbound or you can find it on any streaming service as well to just listen to. But it was so fun. We talked for like an hour and I just talked about all things literature with them, but we also, as I do often times uh, veer off. I, I veered off a lot into random side tangents and stuff, but it was a really good fun time. So I will link it down below for you guys to go and listen to because I love Ariel and I'm so happy that her and Raylene had me on their podcast because it was fucking great. And it's been so long since I was the guest on somebody's podcast. So it was a true thrill, but anyways, I'm gonna listen to that and start this recipe. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this one handed. It's like, I don't know, it's probably the most comp looking mushroom I've ever seen in my life. It's just a white, yeah. white mushroom yeah. that kind of looks like a parasol. Classic yeah. shrimp. Just a shrimp. Classic. <laughs> yep. The old Bob standard. Ah. I'm bringing one glazed, delicious lemon ricotta poppy seed. Well, really chia seed muffin up to Finley because I just ate one and it's so good and they're very warm. So I'm gonna have him try one before I put them on the Super Bowl display later. Still warm, baby. Rue, Rue, you can't eat that. I wanted to bring you a warm one. Very delicious. Hi, Larry. <laughs> Look at that little chicken thigh. You're my funny guy. He loves sitting on my heating pad that I've been using under my butt. All right, a lot going on, but I'm watching Lindsay's vlog. I was doing some dishes. I'm just allowing one of my muffin tins to soak and I'm cutting up this onion so I can start making the bean dip. And I have half the onion already in here and my muffins are done. So I'm just kind of letting them like sit in their glaze. I'll always glaze stuff like this in a pan so it doesn't get, you know, my serving trays all sticky and stuff. And if they're still liquid, once I take all of these out and put them on a serving tray, then I can just kind of like get it up with a spoon and then re-spoon it over the muffins on the serving tray. So that's just what I do to kind of get the most out of the glaze. But I realized, I mean, it's only freaking 4 p.m. right now. Just realized when I looked at the microwave, so I was like, shit, I mean, I still have like two and a half hours till the Super Bowl. I mean, maybe I can make something else. <laughs> I just don't know what to make. But um, I'm gonna start doing this now, so I'm gonna have you chop my onion with me. I toast it like right before I am ready to assemble my sandwich. Another recent sandwich realization I've had is that I don't like when Okay, 
I know I didn't show you the whole process of dumping everything in, but honestly, I picked like the most shallow pan. I thought it would be like deep enough and fine to hold everything, but it was kind of exploding at the end. So I had to like put this towel on the side. The heat's off, so it's, and it's been off for a while, but I was like trying to get all of the liquid from this onto here. That was, it was just like fucking spilling out of the sides. Anyways. I'm gonna put the cheese on top now and then I'm gonna bake it for about 20 minutes, I believe. And I'm so excited about this dip. I just tasted a little bit of it and it's not even like fully cooked yet, but it's just so flavorful and amazing. This is a PSA to say that if you don't already have smoked paprika in your spice cabinet, you need it because smoked paprika is truly a top tier spice. For so long, like when I would make my own homemade ketchups or barbecue sauces and just like sauces in general, a lot of the time it would call for smoked paprika and I'll be like, oh, I can just use regular paprika. But like the flavor of this is a mm, smoky, like adobo kind of, oh, it's amazing. So highly recommend. But um, I'm just gonna put some of this shredded Mexican cheese on top. We do have like one block of sharp cheddar here that I'll, I was thinking about just using the rest of it. But Mexican cheese has a blend of different cheeses in it and I just figured I'd follow the fucking recipe, you know? Try to stay in my lane. I love peanut butter so bad. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. I love Celine Dion so much. If you guys have never seen that video of her, she's like getting interviewed and I don't even know what the question is. I think it's something along the lines of like, what's your favorite snack or something? And she's like, I love peanut butter so bad. And then goes into that whole song. It's just so funny. She let the intrusive thoughts win on that one. I'm probably not gonna like go too overboard with the cheese because I honestly don't want this to like bubble out of the pan. So I'm just gonna try to like spread it to the edges as much as possible, but like really not go too crazy. I love a bean dip, honestly. I'm so excited about this one. Lindsay and I are both making different dips from Half Bay Harvest for Super Bowl Sunday today for our men and us to enjoy. Because we were actually considering having company over and just having like a little tiny Super Bowl party, but I'm really happy that we're not because we were away in Richmond for Friday and Saturday night. And it's nice to watch the Super Bowl, just us two as well, because then we can like really focus in on it and like there's not that many people talking. Not that I don't love a Super Bowl party because if people actually care about football, like we care about football, <laughs> then it's nice. Um, but sometimes people are obviously just there for the halftime show, which I understand is basically a Rihanna concert. Um, so I'm pre-gaming for the Rihanna concert. Just kidding, I haven't drank anything all day. I was thinking actually, my friend Tara, when she came over last, she got me this like fizzy wine that's only like 7% and it was very delicious and I haven't had it since she brought it over and I don't, I'm not obsessed with fizz. And so I'm actually glad that it's kind of flattened out a little bit. So I might pour myself a glass of that. I can't believe that I'm already done. Like normally I make two to three things, I think, but we have the shrimp. We will have enough food. It's just the two of us. I don't need to make another thing. <laughs> All right, I placed my skillet on top of a pizza pan just in case it like bubbles over a little bit because, oh my God, I cannot stand a really dirty oven. Our oven is like sparkling clean right now, but our old oven in Oregon, oh my God. When we moved out, and had to do the move out clean. It was disgusting. So I'm trying to avoid that at all costs, but I'm gonna bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. Guys, check this out. Also so happy that I put it on this pan because it is just ever so slightly bubbling over the top, but oh my God, it looks so good. That bubbly, bubbly cheese, bestie. Sheesh. Okay, I'm honestly just gonna like leave this on the pan right here with the oven open. <laughs> for a little bit because I want to get some of the heat from the oven out and then um, close it so they, they can just keep warm in there but not like bake more just like you know maintain the temperature because it's only 510 and I'm just editing a patreon video and I'm um, gonna have a glass of wine so let's pour it up pour it up also this is what's coming to patreon soon yep it happened again yeah that happened. Um, yeah, uh, that happened. <laughs> I've been doing that so much. Last night I went to a party and I did it like at least eight times. I would just like walk into random spaces and be like, ah, yeah, oh, that happened. And people were just like, what is wrong with this woman? She's deranged. No, but it's funny every time. It's like supposed to be like millennial cringe. Do you guys get it? Let me know. Ladies and gentlemen, her. 
Still got a little bit of fizz left in her. Let's try it out again. Mmm, getting some blueberry notes. Delicious. An experimental production of only 30 cases. So I actually don't know if you guys will be able to find this if you want to try it out, but my friend went to a party at a brewery and they were like selling them there. I know I already sipped it, but cheers, my little gumdrops. Also guys, since I have some more time before the game, I wanted to do a little bit of table decorating for Valentine's Day with you. But at this house, there's some gorgeous tablecloths and I want to put this pink one out because it's so cute. And we'll see how this looks because sometimes this table doesn't actually look good with tablecloths. We've tried this a few times actually together. It's just a unique size. Actually, I think this one's gonna work. Okay, this is adorable and perfect. I'll need to steam it or iron it, but I think that it's very, very cute. This beautiful shade of baby pink, love it. And I'm gonna put the lavender on here for now and replace it with a bouquet if my ass is gifted one. Love it. All right, y'all. I know that I'm kind of washed out. My background's kind of washed out because I have a lot of lights on behind me, but this is just the most comfortable, good location for me currently, okay? So I wanted to have a quick, just, I don't know, heart to heart with you, I guess, of something that's been on my mind. So even at the beginning of this vlog, I said something along the lines of like, oh, and if I had been home yesterday, I would have gotten all this stuff like I was stressed starting off the vlog because I had this idea in my mind of like what I wanted this vlog to be which was gonna be starting on like Friday and I was gonna make this big salmon dinner for Finley and I and then on Saturday I was gonna like go grocery shopping and prep for all of the Super Bowl food and then on Sunday I was gonna like make it with you and I was gonna do like a weekend in my life vlog of like cooking and everything and then we went to my sister-in-law's concert on Friday night and then later that night one of her bandmates Mike was like you guys should come to my birthday party tomorrow and like not go home in the morning and so we were like yeah yeah we always say when we go to Richmond that we're gonna stay longer than one night and like not leave in the morning and we never do it so then we were like okay yeah let's stay and I woke up yesterday morning on Saturday and I just had this like conversation with Finley where I was basically just like I'm wanting to get something off my chest to you. Like, I'm just really feeling so stressed about tomorrow. And I just feel like if I was home and we went home right now, then I would be able to grocery shop and I would be able to prep everything. And I'm just like, I get so caught up in thinking about the thing that I need to do the next day that I like ruin the current day because I'm like stressing about it. And I just wish that yesterday I had known that I would have finished both dishes that I was making today an hour and a half before the Super Bowl. So I wasn't like so stressed for time. I'm just really the type of person who I guess just really wants to like manage my time really well. And when I have something in my head of how something's gonna go, if it does not follow according to that plan, I'm like, oh wow, there was a wrench thrown in my day. You know what I mean? Even if it's fun stuff, like hanging out with our family and friends, like it's just so weird. And I'm just so grateful. I just went up and I, the reason this is on my mind to tell you, cause I went upstairs and I was talking to Finley and just being like, thank you so much for reminding me yesterday that like we were just gonna have fun and that we didn't need to go home just so I could what grocery shop like that just doesn't even make any sense and he wasn't saying that to me in the heathen moment you know when I was telling him like I'm so stressed out he was just like baby I just really don't think that we need to focus on that right now like tomorrow is a different day today we're doing this like you will have ample time it's gonna be totally fine and he was just reminding me like that I didn't need to stress about anything and my worries at the time just felt so big and real but like they don't fucking matter in the grand scheme of things and I was totally fine today and I just wanted to say this little heart-to-heart -heart PSA with all of you with me and my wine here to remind you that things that are in your head are not as big as maybe they seem and I don't know I just have all these like really weird worries sometimes about yeah really just they all surround time management or wanting to get content and film it a certain way and like have this whole plan of what it's gonna be but I'm so fucking happy that we stayed for our friend Mike's birthday last night and then we got to meet new people and hang out with you know other people that we already knew and just like make new memories and have a great time and his birthday party was 90s themed so the 
playlist was bumping and it was great to hang out with everybody and yeah so i'm really glad that we did that and that we just came back this morning and even this morning i was like can we just go grocery shopping on the way home like and finley was like wegmans is not on the way like it's just not on the way it's gonna be like 40 minutes out of the way round trip and you can just go home and then go back out to Wegmans later and that's when I started this vlog it was like right before I went to Wegmans and I was definitely just stressed for no reason because I have ample time I have all the time in the world actually that's the theme of what I'm saying right now things are just not that serious <laughs> and that lesson is actually very relevant for me this week as well I feel like every time I vlog I'll like reference a podcast or something that's like been on my mind or like podcasts that I listen to they always spark like a theme for the week for me or I have good conversations around them so love a good podcast but I was listening to the recent episode of Call Her Daddy with Adam Devine and I was a workaholics stan in high school I actually don't think I've ever told you guys this but it's just like a show on Comedy Central with three guys who work and live together and they're just all silly willies and Adam was in that show and then also was in like Pitch Perfect and all this other stuff and he's just so fucking funny and I was not expecting him to be on Call Her Daddy I don't listen to it all the time but when I saw that he was in it I was like I'm absolutely listening to that episode and she asked him at one point about how he gets his like I don't know attitude or confidence of like just how he doesn't give a fuck and he was like I mean at the end of the day like just it, it doesn't fucking matter like nothing matters like nobody is thinking as hard as you about the things that you do or say and he was like referencing his wife and being like yeah my wife will like worry about things and be tossing and turning at night being like I shouldn't have said this one thing and it was like a social blunder you know that I did and I do that all the time and Finley's just like it's not that serious like I guarantee and I multiple people that I saw this past weekend in Richmond I like apologized about things to them and they were like dude I like wasn't even thinking that that was like a weird thing that you said at all um so I think that we oftentimes in social situations and also just like in our own heads and life and plans and all these things we just like worry so much about the outcome or what people are gonna think or how you made people feel or whatever and it's just like adam said this in the podcast he was like everybody is so caught up in thinking about their fucking selves they're not even thinking about you at all so just like don't worry about it so that's my little rant <laughs> i don't know what this was a rant event sesh who knows but i'm just having my one glass of wine and watching my video back before i export it and watch the super bowl in like 45 minutes. Chris Stapleton. He's providing the background oh, track Chris. for the spread. Are you so happy, guys? So excited. So excited. You dig into the dip first. Oh my god. It's happening. What's my name? Yeah. Oh my god. She literally, Rue, she took your suggestion. Oh my God, she's opening with Rue's favorite song. Oh, hell yeah, dude. This is Celebration Nation over here. I know you know Larry. Living big, living large. Chiefs went over oh, his totally room. Do you yeah, even so. care at all? You're so roly poly, you don't even care. She said turn the lights off. Somebody get the lights off. Yeah, Harry B with the winning kick. And we still have a ton of food on the table. We had to tap out. Woo! This is what you really wanted to see, boys. The big Andy Reid. Hell yeah, Andy. Living it up, living large, old Patty M. He said, I'm only taking one interview and it's with my wife. Where's she at? Just kidding, he's doing a big hug. Love it. I won $20 just now. <laughs> it's a beautiful day to be a dog. What? Rue, where are you going? Oh, I slept so hard. Really filled to the brim there. <laughs> All right, we got our Monday lineup. I'm going to go through and start my planning for the day. So this is just my daily planner, which I'm going to do. And then I also have my weekly list. So because it's Monday morning, I'm going to do it today. And then I have my journal, which is just kind of, you know, whatever's on my mind and my book. So I'm going to kind of go in this order. Oh, Rue really wants to write today. What do you want to write in first? Oh, you want to do my weekly list? Okay, I'm changing my order. Okay, so Finley's in the shower, if you can hear that in the background, but for those of you who like planning content, this is what I'm doing today. I have to do my writing post for Patreon, make my streaming schedule for the week, 
I'm uploading a Patreon video that I finished editing last night. I have to work on the memory book that I make every year for Finley, and it's not going to be ready for tomorrow, Valentine's Day, but he already knows that. So I'm just going to keep working on it, and then um, I have to do some other Valentine's Day gift for him, so I'm just going to be brainstorming and crafting today, probably. And then tomorrow for Valentine's Day, we want to go to Osaka, which is like a Japanese-style hibachi restaurant, so I need to call them and make a reservation if possible. And then I also have to do some affiliate setup for um, a link that I'm gonna add to my description box. And I'm vlogging today and streaming today, so that's what's up with me. And I really don't have that many weekly plans. Like normally, you know, other than this holiday, I'll put stuff that we have for like the weekend and whatnot, or I'll go in and I'll put my workouts for every single day. And I might actually add the workouts now and then show you it after. There we go, now that's more like it. So right now I'm doing five days on of workouts and two days off. So Sunday and Monday are off for my rest days during the week, which works for me. You dogs are so sleepy and cute. I love putting their beds up here on the couch because they get so comfortable. All right, my weekly list this week was to list all of the people who brighten your day, so I did that. And then also the take action is to write a sweet note or to do something thoughtful for one or some of these people who make your life easier, lighter, and happier. So cute. So I think I'm gonna do this today because tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna spread the love, brother. Do a little snail mail moment. Why not? Hey, I just realized I haven't talked to the camera all day and now it's uh, 2 p.m. <laughs> so sorry, but I am on second day braids. Actually, these are multi-day braids. I've been unbraiding them, rebraiding them for a few days now. And I'm washing my hair tomorrow after my workout class. So like this is just what we're working with today and it's fine because I'm having a chillaxed day today. I'm doing some laundry downstairs. I just fed the dogs. Larry is still here because he doesn't want to eat yet, but oh, I think I hear Rue coming up the stairs. Is this a tiny little lady? Oh my God, did you just hear her burp? So we're just having a little dog moment on the couch here. Yeah, you smell like dog food. I actually think that today I might go run some errands, go to the dog store and do some other stuff around town. I am really kind of just at a loss of what to get Finley. Last year, I'm pretty sure I wrote him a Valentine's card and then we just like went out to dinner. We actually don't really normally do Valentine's Day gifts. Like maybe he'll get me flowers and I'll normally give him the memory book, but I'm just so, like I procrastinated it so much this year and I fell really behind. I started working on it like before Vlogmas and then once Vlogmas happened, I just like completely forgot about working on it. And then now I'm working on it again, but it's just like, I basically just collect an entire year's worth of photos and then I get them printed professionally at like, Shutterfly or like some other place. And then I put them in this big binder and we have every single year's worth that we've been together of photo book memories. And so I'm not gonna stop the tradition. I'm just like trying to get back on the train of like actually working on it. But I think that I wanna go and get the binder for it because I haven't even done that. I'm still in the photo collection and organizing phase, but he doesn't care. He's like, it's fine, I'll get it when I get it and that's okay, but I do wanna get him something else for Valentine's Day. I'm also thinking of stopping by a craft store or maybe like Target or something and getting stuff for little Valentine's Day cards to my friends and you know of course it's not going to get to them on time because snail mail does not take a single day but i think that my friends would really like to get a little v-day card from me so i definitely have some stationery here that i could use in envelopes and stuff but i think i need like a little a little more honey but also what's been kind of delaying my day is i've been having this issue with my video that i edited last night for patreon i exported it last night so i could upload it this morning and when i uploaded it I got a comment being like hey this is only like about seven and a half minutes long of a video I'm kind of confused and you were just getting into the story like it was like the early parts of it I was like what this is a 
39 minute video. Why is it cutting off at seven minutes? What actually happened was my external hard drive, like my little orange, well, they're actually pretty big, my orange lacy hard drives. The last one I was using ran out of memory. So it actually only saved the first gigabyte of footage, not the remaining four gigs that it needed to. So kind of a flop and it just uploaded completely like the wrong amount of footage. And so now I've gotten a different hard drive that has more space on it and I'm exporting it to that, but I'm not gonna let this like derail me or delay me today. I've done my journaling, I've done my reading and yeah, I also really wanna go and send out the Valentine's Day cards because of what my weekly list thing told me to do, which is just like remind the people in your life that you love them and care for them. And this has actually been a big theme for me recently. I was just talking to a friend yesterday and I really was thinking about, you know, sending them like a care package and card. So the list this week has just been a good reminder of actually doing that. So yeah, I think like a Target trip and going out and running errands on the town is in store for me today. And we're out of dog food, so that just happens to be something that I'm gonna add to the regimen as well. But I might just leave this video to export and maybe I'll bring the dogs with me today. I mean, why not? We're going to the dog store. They love the dog store, so that would probably be good for them. Get a little outing in and take you guys along with us. Sound good? Let's go get dressed. I already said this, but I'm still doing a little laundry, so this is kind of disheveled in here, but I'm gonna pick out a little outfit to wear today. What should I wear? Okay, I picked out kind of an interesting outfit today that I've never worn before, so I'm just gonna see how it looks, but <laughs> let's see and change into it right now. Wow, it actually turned out way cuter than I thought. I really like all of this together. I'm also wearing a bright yellow bandana to hide my greasy hair. And it kind of just adds a little pop of color to this already colorful fit. Thrifted, thrifted, gifted for Christmas, these anthropology pants. And I'm probably just gonna wear like little brown slip-on shoes or something. But I'm also wearing a little jewelry. I have these little earrings that somebody sent to my P.O. box, as well as this necklace someone sent to my P.O. box, which, is like my daily wear necklace now. Before I leave the house today with the doggies as well, I'm gonna go and give these acorn squashes to the pigs and make a TikTok about it. But every year I'll like cut out a little portion of this and shove a candle in it and then go out to the pasture and sing them happy birthday and stuff. So these are their acorn cakes actually from my sister-in-law. She gave them to me in Richmond. She was like, yeah, I've had these since uh, Halloween and still haven't done anything with them. I was actually thinking they're getting a little mushy and I needed to get rid of them and I was like get rid of them to me my pigs they'll eat them so love being that person for people hey I um was feeding the pigs and I was doing their like birthday video where I give them the squash and I bent down because I was like oh who's gonna blow out the candle me or you and it was just so fucking stupid and ducky literally bit my finger and at first when it happened, I was just like, oh my God, that hurt. Like it felt like she almost like broke it. Like she tried to eat my finger like a carrot. Oh, it's making me nauseous to think about it. I don't think it's that bad because the blood isn't that severe, but I was running on pure adrenaline afterwards, just trying to like walk. And then I started to get really lightheaded, like I was gonna faint and my hearing started going in and out. And I, now I'm just like profusely sweating in the kitchen at the table and I have it with like a dish towel around it. I just want you to come home cause I don't know what to do about it myself. And um, I was about to go run errands, but then this happened. I'm getting pretty nauseous. So I'll just see you soon. You're kind of cutting out. Oh my God. That was so fucking stupid. I'm sweating so much. I just called Finley to leave work and come help me. I don't know what to do. Whenever things like this happen, like if I get a really bad cut or maybe I'm like cooking dinner or prepping it or something and I slice my finger, I don't know how to handle it myself because whenever I try, I get really lightheaded and feel like I'm gonna faint. So I need him to come help me. So I prop up the camera and just go home. What did you bandage mama? <laughs> I can't believe this happened. Where is... Do we have, like, this isn't really the right stuff for this, do we have? I think we have some first aid stuff somewhere, but I'm pretty sure it's in the little house. I just watched the video back when she did it, and it was just so fucking dumb. Some men don't 
fully just bit my finger, so they could break skin. Oh, you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. I thought I was gonna faint in the yard, but I didn't. I made it back to the house. <laughs> it would have been so bad if I fucking fainted, dude. Yeah. I was walking back and I was like, Siri, please call in. <laughs> she was like, not looking going through. No stitches for me. There's a lot of mud around the cut. She has a dirty mouth. You didn't rinse out or anything. No, I probably should though. Afterwards, it felt like she had literally bit my finger in two. So that's why I called it. I was panicking so much. Pinky curvy. <laughs> I hate alcohol swap. Rue, why didn't she learn how to do this? It would have been so much more dainty and cute. But I mean, the bleeding stuff, do you want just a band aid on it? I want something big. <laughs> <laughs> just to feel better. I want, I want a big band aid. Looking at it, it looks like a tiny boo boo, but feeling it, it hurts really bad. <laughs> Imagine if I passed out in the yard and Finley had to come and find me. Ugh, oh, that would have been terrible. Have you guys ever blacked out before and fainted? I fainted one time, but it was because I smoked too much weed. And I faded head first into a door, a glass door. And my friend caught me after I hit the door, but before I hit the ground. And I got a concussion. It was terrible. Couldn't go see Earl Sweatshirt. Had to sell my tickets. A really dark time for me. The reason that I want a big band-aid is because it's kind of turning a little black and blue. She bit so hard. I'll do that and then wrap it in this. I just don't want my band-aid to fall off. I couldn't do this myself because I thought I would faint over the sink. What are you supposed to do when something like this happens to you? <laughs> Just power through. What if you feel like you're going to faint? Call for help. I was sweating so hard when I came in the house. My adrenaline was pumping way too hard for me. I almost ripped off my shirt before you came home. Looks a little swollen. She has a hard bite. That would be a really dumb way to die is getting eaten alive by her pig. They would never do that to me. What is the rule where like I was holding my finger above my heart? Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do? I feel like it. Yeah, it feels fine. <laughs> yeah. I need you to come help. I would have fainted if you had to come. Every time I looked at it, I was like, oh my god, it's broken. This is like a powder that absorbs a lot of blood. Whoa. This is like a trauma kit. Yeah, it's like a car accident kit. We still need to finish our car rescue kit. Do any of you watching have one? I kind of want to get like flares and cones and stuff like that and just have it all in like a little box in the trunk. And what else? Like the emergency blanket. Oh, there is one? Yeah. Okay, that's good then. Thank you. Well, that'll heal it right up. Well, hopefully I can still survive my errands. All right, I successfully made it to the dog store. Thank God, I'm trying to give you a thumbs up, but I can't really bend this finger anymore. Thank God Finley came home to help me though, because holy guacamole, it was a bad scene for me there. She's really excited to go to the dog store. I made it here safely, by the way, totally fine. But what can you do? It was my dumbass fault. We're all gonna go get dog food and look for dog gifts. Okay, I'm getting them their favorite treaties. Larry's very excited. Rue's looking for new Kong toys. Oh god. The dog store is so fun when you get to pick out your own bag of treats each. Right, Rue? I know, I had fun. The lady at the register, she, I've met her before for sure, but she told me that she loves my outfit today, so. Love a compliment given woman. Woo! I love giving compliments to strangers all the time. Every time I go out, I say, wow, I love your outfit. Random stuff like that, you know? And she had little hearts that she painted on her cheeks today with her makeup. So cute. Okay, now I think we're gonna go to Target. Get some stuff done there. Actually, wait, there's a craft store across the street. We're gonna go there first. Okay, it's time to go arts and crafts it up at Michael's, but not get too out of hand like I do at Joanne. Rue's just checking everything out that I got at Michael's. I'm gonna make a Valentine's Day card and put it in with a care package. So I got these little cute doggy stickers and I also got tissue paper for it. And I got some artist markers in different shades of pink so I can make my Valentine's Day cards. And I got two packs of these, one for Finley, one for the care package. But they're peanut butter hearts. Love them. Sorry dogs, nothing for you. Just kind of a little shout out to you with the doggy stickers I'm gonna put on everything. Rue drove me all the way to Cabela's. She said, 
this seems like it would make more sense for my father instead of Target. If you're going to get him any presents, you might find them here. He's an outdoorsy guy, you know, so Rue gave me some suggestions. Although she has terrible taste in gifts, so I'm not going to let her pick anything out. I was wondering if you guys have any room for a reservation for tomorrow night. Probably closer to like 7 or 7.30 just for two people. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you. Bye. Secured a resi for tomorrow. Guys, Target the night before Valentine's Day. Sheesh. I should have expected that, you know? Everybody was like in front of all of the cards section and I heard this one lady be like, we all had the same idea. Am I in your way? I'm going for the my beloved husband. And I was like, oh my God absurd but I pretty much found everything that I needed for the care package and I found some things for this Finley as well so that's exciting and I'm gonna put everything together probably later when I get home but I think for right now I'm actually gonna run over to Chick-fil-a because my dad gave us these coupons when we were home last because he worked for the Chick-fil-a bowl which is the SEC championship bowl game but he gets like a bunch of coupons for free so this is like for a free chicken sandwich and it expires at the end of March so I'm like maybe I should surprise Finley with one and bring it home to him for dinner and then I'm gonna get myself like a gigantic thing of fries because it's just been an odd day and I deserve french fries okay Right, Rue? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Serious pro tip for you all. If you're ever just like really not in a hurry and you don't have to go to the drive-thru, you should absolutely just go inside. Really the only fast food that I frequently get is from Taco Bell. Whenever the Taco Bell line was always insanely long for the drive-thru, we would just go inside and get our food like immediately. And then you also don't get all of the trash that they give you in the drive-thru. And you can just, I always say, this is gonna be for here. And then I just like grab everything on the plate and go out and walk it to my car because I don't actually need the bag, you know what I mean? But today I figured I would be wild and crazy and get a Chick-fil-A sauce, which I never do, but you know, here we are. Hmm. Totally worth it. I also got Finley's chicken sandwich for him. He does actually enjoy it with pickles, surprisingly, because my sister and my brother, who both, you know, still eat chicken and stuff, they would always ask for it without pickles. So when we've like done this in the past on road trips and stuff and he doesn't get the pickles off, I'm like, you like that? Pickle chicken? But I will say I became a pickle girl when I started growing my own cucumbers. So I understand now, you know, some people are just pickle people. They love a pickled onion. They love anything pickled, pickled jalapenos, whatever, pickle that. I can pickle that. Ugh, I miss Portlandia. Anyway, these fries are really hitting and I'm really happy that I did this. And that I'm filming a little mukbang for you. It's really popular out tonight everywhere I've gone. Woo! This place is bumping, bumping. I already said that in this vlog. What's wrong with me? Let's get it crunk on it. That's just stuck in my head. Family Affair by Mary J. Blige. Come on, everybody, get on down. Rue's really hoping for something to drop. Larry, you are such a good boy. Larry is the best dog on earth. And whenever new people meet Larry, they're always like, how is he just so perfect and great? And I'm like, this is what I'm saying. So well behaved, my perfect boy. He's just asleep on the chair next to me. Doesn't even care, not even begging, like this other little beast next to me. No, I love you too. Oh, I know why. It's because Rue's actually obsessed with French fries. So she smelled them. She's had them before, little pieces of French fry, and she's like absolutely obsessed. I just remembered, and I'm eating your favorite snack. I need you guys to vote in the comments below. Do you like these ones that have a ton of skin on them? Cause my sister used to be afraid of them. So she would give me all of her like skin on French fries, but I love them like a potato wedge. Ah, actually while you're commenting that, please let me know what your favorite kind of fry is. Mine's definitely a waffle, waffle fry. Mmm, it's just such an interesting cut for them. You know, nothing is more gorgeous than this. This is truly beautiful work. Who did this? Who cut this? They did an amazing job. Hmm, I can't wait to surprise my little honey with his Chick-fil-A sandwich later. He's definitely already home from work. 
after he bandaged up my finger, we left at the exact same time. I left to run errands and he went back to work. He has like this shipment due for all the doors and windows that they're, they've are they been making. And he was like on the phone with somebody when I called him and was like, emergency, emergency, I need you to come home. I had a bad accident in the pig pasture. Thought I was gonna faint. And he was like, oh shit, I'm on my way. You guys saw the call or you heard the call. But Finley actually trained as an EMT back in the day. This is what I say to people. I'm like, this man, he's just a jack of all trades. He's really done a lot of things. <laughs> and um, he took the EMT test, didn't end up, you know, practicing and staying as an EMT, but he wanted to know how to do all of the things. So I always just call him in times of critical care. <laughs> And because he's my husband, but you know, he also knows what he's doing. But that being said, Finley actually gets hurt a lot. Like my dad at our rehearsal dinner, he gave this whole speech about Finley. He said something along the lines of like, Finley's always getting hurt. And like, he didn't want to embarrass him too much by telling too many of the stories because he like almost always gets injured on our family vacations. We're actually having a huge giving at the end of this year in September in California. Um, so I'm knocking on wood so he doesn't get injured on or before that trip. But yeah, my dad ended up telling this whole story about when Finley got a bee sting on his eyelid on our first Hughes giving trip. And he just like still went out to the brewery with all of us with like a swollen eye. Oh, love it. So silly, that guy. And yeah, the first time he came home to Georgia, he like sliced his foot open really bad on a rock at the river in my neighborhood. And it was just like so bad to the point where he couldn't walk on it because it was like the underside of his foot. So he was like on crutches. It was just insane, like only him, you know? Anyway, I only bring that up to say that even though he trained as an EMT, the man, he, he really gets hurt a lot. But we just went on a ski weekend and he was snowboarding for the first time in like 10 years and he didn't get hurt, so thank God. Oh, these are so fucking good. I'm towards the end. Mm. I love how I'm gonna call this in the title, probably a Chick-fil-A mukbang, but I'm only eating french fries. Whatever. I'm the sauce boss. I'm gonna get the rest of this sauce. Mm. One little tiny peanut bite for you, my french fry lover. The noise. You can have one too, Larry. Larry doesn't really like fries. You wanna try? He's not interested. So you can have it, Rue, because he already licked it a little bit. Ah, <gasps> oh, that was amazing. Right, Rue? She agrees. I was just thinking about how I might need to make this more of a reoccurring <laughs> recurring habit when I'm out in this part of town. Stop by the old Chick-fil-A, get myself a large fry. But then I was like, no, probably shouldn't make that a habit, you know, for my health or whatever reasons you kids be saying these days, french fries ain't good for the heart. They are if your name's Randy. You get continental breakfast every day at the Best Western Inn. Randy don't care. Now I'm gonna follow it up with a little healthy kombucha. And a yodel from Nick Shoulders. Woo! Well, I pulled up. And I saw Finley on the porch being a working man, putting a clear coat on our Behold It's Cold sign, as well as our fall sign. But I was gonna bring him this and he's not here anymore. Oh God, oh God. Hello? I brought you a little special chicken sandwich right. surprise ah. for dinner. Surprise, Larry didn't need it anymore. Yeah, he thought about it though. Hi, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Oh my god, he's here! Okay, it was a long errand day. It's now 7 p.m. And I'm gonna show you everything I got at Target. And also I just heated up some leftover Cuban food that I got over the weekend. Starting off strong with the big binder for the memory book that I'm making Finley. Last year I gave him a green one, so this year I'm doing a purple flurp. And then for my little care package, I got a bunch of various Valentine's colored sweetie treaties. So got some strawberry shortcake, whole grain baked bars, some fruit strips. And for us, I got new flavors that we haven't tried before of Lara bars. Because I'm a Lara bar girly, after all my workout classes, I keep a box in the car. And I haven't tried these ones, so I figured why not? And I also got two Mystic Mango kombuchas for me because Target's the only place that carries them. So have this, and then I also got the cola ones for Finley and the root beer ones. Oh, I almost forgot. These are less exciting. Like I got a huge honking thing of Pepto-Bismol for my FD. Lindsay knows what I'm talking about. We all have it, the FD, but I have it bad sometimes. I also got liquid bandage so I can replace this with this. We love liquid bandage in this house. It's 
great. Especially, well, only when you get the right brand. So I hope that one is good. It said compared to the new skin. So anyways, I'm gonna eat this now and I'm gonna have to stream in a little bit. So wolf it down, put my groceries away, gather everything and put it in one. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this too. Look what I got in the mail. I've been waiting on these bad boys to come in the mail and they were a bit back ordered on Etsy, but I got myself a little pair of earmuffs. Oh my God, they're perfect. These are the exact ones that I put on my Christmas list and I didn't get them, so I bought them for myself afterwards. They even match my outfit today. They're so cute. I'm gonna go show Finley. Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna wear these for the rest of the night. No, I'm just kidding. They're really warm though. Very good quality like Ugg boot. Also, Finley and I both came home to this little artwork and note from my mother-in-law and she put, sweet Valentine's, may your love garden grow. Love you both so much. And it's this cute little print growing little heart-shaped tomatoes. So cute, I love it. I'm gonna put this on display. All right, I'm gearing up to start streaming the last and final episode of Life is Strange. I'm playing the first game. I know there's more than those, but I've played for the past, this will be my fifth Monday in a row playing it. And so, yeah, I'm gearing up, watching everybody come into the chat. Rue is also here being a little silly, rubbing all over the rug like she likes to do. And I'm probably gonna be on here for the next three hours or so because this is gonna be a long episode, I think. Most of the episodes are like two to three hours, but we play through the whole thing. Thank you for watching me play this game for the past five weeks. It's been a lot. <laughs> oh, love you guys. Good night. All right, guys, I just finished Life is Strange series. Um, the first version, I haven't played anything else. So I know that now um, people told me in the chat that there's also Before the Storm as well as Life is Strange 2, and also Life is Strange True Colors. And Life is Strange 2 and True Colors have like a different cast, but Before the Storm and the original Life is Strange focus on Max, Chloe, and Rachel. But anyways, that series was a fucking lot for me, mentally, because normally I am a cozy game streamer, you know? I'm just like, hey, I'm here farming and decorating and playing The Sims and like, playing Animal Crossing and other little games where it's more just task-based and not really like as stressful and this was decision-based so you would like it was just a story game so you would choose a couple of different options and they would all determine the rest of the game but it had some heavy topics dude so I don't know if I'm gonna play another but I wanted to play it because it was so hyped up and I had been requested to play it so much I just can't tell right now I think we definitely just like need a break from that content but I played it and you can go back and watch my VODs. My recorded streams are all saved to my Twitch channel if you wanna see me play it because I don't upload gaming videos, but people do be asking for them. Sometimes I'm like, should I record the streams, edit them and put them up on a separate channel? But then I'm also like, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you would like. It would definitely be a hell of a lot of work, but maybe I could hire an editor to do it. I would definitely hire an editor for something like that because it would be intense to edit down three to four hour long streams and like get them out on a steady basis, especially because I stream three times a week. But anyways, yeah, comment down below your thoughts or if you'd even be interested in that. But damn dude, it's 1224 now. So I need to eat a little something. I did have my dinner before the stream, but I need to have a little something else. You know, I'm hungry again. And then I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna wake up in the morning, go to Zumba and it's gonna be Valentine's day and I can't wait. Hi, Rue. Well, good morning and happy Valentine's Day to those who celebrate. I feel like it's necessary to say that because some people, even people in relationships are anti-Valentine's Day and that's totally fine. So, you know, I woke up to some unfortunate news. I was very excited to return to Zumba this morning, Tuesday morning, like I normally do. 
and have a like Galentine's Day class with all my Zumba ladies. And I was gonna wear a cute little, you know, color coordinated outfit for V Day. And then I woke up and I checked my email and I like register for the classes on my app for my gym. And I got an email that was like, we're sorry to let you know that this class has been canceled. And I was like, what? And I'm also part of a WhatsApp like group chat for my Zumba classes. So I went on there and my instructor was like, I'm so sorry guys, I think I have strep. So that's really unfortunate, but hey, you know what they say, you can't always get what you want, right? But you can try. And <laughs> today I'm just going to, well, I was just listening to The Divine Feminine by Mac and just kind of having a chillaxed morning in my Pinkie Pie sweater. This is my Breadwedding Housewife merch, by the way. So good for this vlog. Although I've only cooked and baked on Sunday and it's Tuesday now, but I'm also not going to be doing it tonight, so I don't know what I'll end up calling this vlog, but that's the underlying theme, okay? And today I'm going to be having a chillaxed morning, actually. I figured that because I'm not going to class, this is an opportunity to use my under desk treadmill that's like under this table right here and maybe catch up on some vlogs or something on the TV while I do it. Pump some iron, you know, do some five pound weight arm workouts. And I plan to go to Pilates in the morning tomorrow, but I have plans tonight with Finley to go to a dinner date. So you guys heard me talk about it and call the restaurant and stuff. So we're going around seven and we decided that we're not gonna like wake up and do gifts. We're gonna have, you know, both of our like work days and chill days for me. Well, I do have a deadline today at one. I'm uploading a sponsored Instagram story. But other than that, I just have to do like a little bit of laptop work. And then I'm going to just work on Valentine's Day cards for my loved ones and put together Finley's little V-Day basket and stuff like that for him to come home to. And then we're just gonna have our date night tonight. So that's what's happening over here and I'm just vibing. I think I'm just gonna do a home workout in a little bit, maybe take an Epsom salt bath, do some luxurious self-care, you know, oil myself up for later. And um, I also need to do some laundry today because there's laundry everywhere in this room. I feel like every single time I vlog, I'm like, look at this room and you can't even really see how chaotic it is, but there's a lot of laundry on the bed and I'll show you later. Here we go. Let's bump it up to three miles per hour. But I have my little remote, my weights. I'm watching Arden declutter her closet. I gotta crank up the volume. Can't even hear. This is where I'm gonna be for the next, like, probably hour? I don't know, I'm not gonna put a time on it. I'm just gonna go till I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. I'm in a big Arden phase right now. You already know, brother. Incredible watching Gilmore Girls and hanging out in the back with a lot of Epsom salts in there. Hey there, who there, guys. I love Gilmore Girls so much. I'm on the season five finale. Can you even believe it? Only two more seasons to go. No spoilers in the comments, please, all right? I'm going to be finishing this episode and soaking in the bath for however long it takes to finish it. And then I think I'll probably just start on my Valentine's. I'm kind of running out of time. I've just been really luxuriating all day. I uploaded my sponsored content. And also I uploaded a TikTok celebrating the pig's birthday yesterday where this happened. And it's feeling fine today. I'm gonna take the Band-Aid off and put on the liquid bandage that I got last night after the bath. Women only want one thing for Valentine's Day and it's a giant vegetarian chili dog with more chili on the side. <laughs> Hell yeah. I used Amy's vegetarian chili with tofu and it looks incredible. And then I have a field roast weenie and then just some Mexican cheese on the top that I had to get for the recipe that I made for the Super Bowl. Oh my God, he came home early. You came home early. I'm about to leave again. Okay, hi guys. Kind of a close angle, but I just did my skincare routine. She's looking kind of snatched and slayed. Rue is just climbing on top of my Valentine. I haven't written yet, but I'm about to. I am just gonna write on my nice little stationery a cute little Valentine for Finley. And I'm gonna use the same paper for my friend's Valentine's, but I did terrible time management today, like truly tragic, and just spent so much time editing my pig TikTok. I uploaded my Patreon video finally after figuring out all of the like technical difficulties, did some other like, yeah, my brand work, whatever, whatever. You guys saw it, you know what I did. And after I got out of the bath, I was like, oh my God, Finley's gonna come home soon. And he texted me probably 
around like 3.45 ish and had replied back to a text that I had sent him earlier. And I was like, hey, let me know when you're on your way home because I'm very much so not ready for you. So that's why in a previous clip, you saw me running down the stairs being like, you're home early, what the hell? But he was just changing so that he could go back out on the town. If you know what I'm saying, the man's probably getting a little some some. So I just, you know, was doing my hair, finished my skincare routine, tweezed my damn eyebrows, you know, all the things. And now Rue is gonna help me think of a really thoughtful Valentine for my sweetie. <laughs> okay, Finley's on his way back. So we gotta do this speedy quick. <laughs> I seriously am just like really not managing my time well today, but it's fine. I saw this on Northwoods folks Instagram page. I'll put her at on the screen. And she was just doing this little craft with her kiddos. And I know we're not like reinventing the wheel here, but sometimes kids and myself can't really paint good hearts. So if you get a toilet paper roll, kind of crush it up like this, you get kind of like a fun, silly little heart. And so I'm just gonna drag that around in the paint and then just like stamp it on my cart and let it dry. Hopefully by the time my honey gets back. That didn't work. My camera died when I was doing the stamps with the paint, but I finished the card and the paint is definitely still a little bit wet, which you can see, but that's okay. And I wrote on the back, to Finley love Megan, I have so much room in my heart for you. <laughs> Which I've been seeing that a lot on Instagram pages and stuff. The mushroom bloggers, they've been making art with that little cute saying and I just love it so much. So last year I did a similar thing where I was seeing hogs and kisses so much from the pig accounts I follow that I made him a Valentine that said hogs and kisses and it was so adorable. But yeah, so I have that Valentine there and then this little print from his mom in the back. So it's all waiting for him to come home to. Valentine's fit check. I'm wearing my red cowgirl boots Lindsay gave me, some burgundy knee highs I've had since high school. My dress is from, I'm blanking on it right now, but I'll put it on the screen when I remember, inevitably. A thrifted red turtleneck. My little earrings are from Every Jewels and Avery Ovard collab. My hair's in a little brown claw clip. I have my corset on or my bustier and I'm ready to go get food. Every breath I take, it squeezes like that though. The leather, it creaks. Also, sorry for the sound of the dehumidifier, but this fucking card that Finley got me is so unreal. He was like, it looks exactly like you. He also got me this air plant, this fun plant with a cute little pot, and then this bouquet in a white vase. She's gorgeous. And I told him we should paint this together. It would be so cute to paint the pot because it's kind of like rough like that. Anyway, so nice. The V-Day table, we love it. We're gonna go to dinner now. I just found this large of a dog hair on my camera. I'm like, where the fuck did this come from? Is this a German Shepherd hair? I think this came from my mom's dog. Anyways, I had to unbuckle myself because I just ate so much food at dinner. And we brought a ton home in our little Tiffin. You already know, we keep this joint in the car and it's incredible. We both had some delicious fried rice at the hibachi style restaurant that we went to called Osaka. Okay, this is better. You're more stable. You're on a pair of gloves now. I'm a little drunk, honestly. I'm two drinks in. I had a blue drink with curacao in it. And then I also had another drink that was green and it was called, I don't know, something like the green dragon. So. That was interesting, but um, yeah, our chef at the restaurant was very kind, very good. You know, it's a performance when you go to a hibachi restaurant and they cook in front of you, like a Japanese steakhouse, but they made us wait for, I shit you not, 50 minutes before they ever came over and started actually cooking stuff on the grill. So we're all just sitting around being like, all right. And it was us and then another couple and then four girls who were just like teenagers on like a Galentine's day together. And they were all just like on Snapchat and TikTok the entire time on the side. And then it was just us and the other couple. And we're like, so like, what are you guys drinking? They're being really nice, very friendly. So love that. As soon as I sat down, the girl was like, I love your harness. And I was like, Thank you so much. You know I live for a good compliment. So then we were just, you know, being comrades. Is comrades a good camaraderie? Like that for the rest of the time. But yeah, they made us wait so fucking long. But we got food and it was good. And I had a good time. And multiple times I thought about the dogs. Every time I leave the house, I think about the dogs. Because 
I have to go to Pilates in a little bit. I'm gonna just pour this directly into a to-go mug. I definitely have to say I'm so tired today. I have on my new little leggings from Girlfriend Collective. They're like the sky blue color and I just think that they're the cutest color in the whole world. They're really soft and I bought them on sale because they were about to launch like a new collection of these ones. I feel like it's like the cloud collection or something like that. And they wanted to get rid of the rest of the sizes I guess so they were just like really cheap and I got them in a medium but the rest of my girlfriend collective leggings are in smalls and normally they're fine like that but um, these ones fit really well too and they're supposed to be like the short style so like not as long to my ankles but as you can see because I'm short I'm 5'3 um, they're fine so nice and then I'm also wearing this shirt that has a petri dish of mold on it from Dasha Playson on Instagram. I believe that's how you say her last name. I think she's Russian, if I'm not mistaken, but um, I'll put her at on the screen. Finley and I love her account. She basically just like makes all of these mold art pieces and then she sold these shirts and Finley bought one and I've never worn it, so I'm wearing it today. Anyways, let's have some coffee. I need to head out in like 10 minutes. I woke up and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to Pilates today but because Zumba got canceled yesterday and I also was unable to go to Zumba on Thursday night of last week or Saturday morning, I'm like, girl, you gotta get to it. <laughs> I was in Baltimore for Thursday night. Saturday morning, I was in Richmond. So I went to my Friday body pump class though, which was really fun as always. But I am trying to do five days on, two days off. So this week, you know, I still worked out yesterday and I'm not really feeling sore from my pumps that I did. I am in my forearms down here though, but my biceps and my triceps ain't really feeling it. So I gotta learn some better exercises to do on the treadmill, but I always sweat a lot when I go three miles an hour and do the hand weights, like it's crazy. Anyways, so yeah, I am gonna go to Pilates. When I was like, oh, I'm tired, I was like, boo hoo, you're tired, okay? Everybody's tired. Wake up. Sometimes you just gotta do that to yourself. Really just drill it in. Wah, wah, cry baby. Sorry, I don't know what's coming out of me. No, I know who it is. It's baby wah, wah. My alter ego that I invented along with the help of my brother-in-law is coming out. Her name is JP Wipey. Also formally known as baby wah, wah. All right, y'all, I'll talk to you after Pilates. I just got here, gotta get my mat out of the back. And Pilates is always really hard. My instructor, she goes hard for sure and I always feel like a noodle afterwards. You know when your legs just get really noodly? That's how I feel after. Pilates was wonderful. I'm really happy I went and got my ass out of bed. I have to leave the house at nine, so I normally have to wake up an hour before that to like get ready and have my coffee and all those things. So that's why I've been trying to practice the 8 a.m. wake-ups more often. Anyways, it was great. My Pilates instructor is so fucking funny, and I honestly don't think she even means to be. She just says the silliest things. Like she'll be like, this exercise is going to give you bubble butt. Okay, and she's obsessed with like Ed Sheeran and Harry Styles and One Direction music So she'll like choreograph scissor kick leg routines to just <laughs> songs like that And she'll always be like screaming over the music and today it was a different routine than we've been doing for Last week and the week before normally she keeps the same routine for two weeks straight But she's been switching it up on us But we did some really intense arm and shoulder workouts and then we also did this thing with like a tiny blow-up ball and we put it behind our backs and we like extended our legs and did like leg pulses and stuff damn I'm gonna be feeling that shit tomorrow but yeah I love her honestly she's so silly and she'll always tell us in the middle of class when to fix our hair or not she'll be like don't even bother fixing your hair okay don't even bother because then we're just gonna do more floor work that's gonna like mess up the back of our hair again and then whenever we're off the mat for the rest of class she'll be like okay time to fix our hair everybody fix your hair because we're gonna be looking at each other you know <laughs> She's just so funny. I love her and the class has gotten really big I was next to this woman because I came in like right when it was starting I need to start getting there earlier because the spots were almost all taken up But the lady next to me was like you can squeeze in right here by the door And I was like what if people like step on me if they come in late and she was like Hopefully nobody's gonna be coming in late because the class is almost completely full I started coming here when it was only five people and now it's like 20 plus people per class But anyways, I'm having my Lara bar. And I'm gonna drive home. Hey guys, I'm back home now, but I 
wanted to just give you a quick little speech because this has been on my mind recently in my own life and I just think it would be better to give this lesson to more people, not even lesson, but just like realization that I had. So I had the realization that I just get really into my routines of pleasurable activities, right? So for example, like I love to game. So when I have free time, I'm like, oh, I should just get my Switch and like play little Disney Dream Light Valley or something like that. But instead of just getting into the habit of doing that over and over again, I could be doing some other thing that I know sparks joy. So for more examples of what I could be doing, last week, I believe on my weekly list, it was like list all of the things that bring you joy. And then the take action note was like incorporate one of these things into every single day this week. So I wrote stuff down like listening to records, happy cleaning, you know, having a good conversation on the phone with a friend or loved one. So last week I failed, honestly, at incorporating one of those things every single day of the week. So I'm gonna try again this week and I've just been trying to do a little thing every day for me that makes me really happy. So I just wanted to share that with you guys too because like I said, you can just, you can get into routines and be like, well, I guess I'll just, I don't know, read my book, but it's like, you could be doing all these other things that make you really happy and it's not great when you realize that you've like neglected certain things that bring you so much joy like playing music for me on ukulele practicing ukulele i was like thinking on the way home because i was listening to this playlist that i made forever ago called mountain mama and it has all of these amazing shovels and rope songs and like tallest man on earth and the head and the heart and like all of these indie kind of folk bands that i loved to cover on ukulele when i first started learning so then i was like hmm maybe today i'll play a little music that would make me so happy so yeah that's just another example anyways i need a shower now check it out guys i told you i would get better at layering in 2023 Actually, I don't know if I said those exact words. I just said I want to layer more. So I have my old Wild Fox Couture Moonchild shirt on under this. This is such a great layer. It's like a waffle pattern, kind of like a thermal. And then I have on this little thrifted dress that is normally like my laundry day dress, as I call it. It's just so drapey. You can put it over anything. And it's kind of sherbet colored along with this sweater vest that Lindsay sent me in our clothing swap. So... I like it. I know it's a little baggy around here. Like ideally I would like to kind of cinch it in a little bit, but also I'm just going for more baggy flowy look. And I think I'm gonna wear my watermelon socks. Oh, I forgot to show you my jewelry too. I'm wearing a little rose quartz necklace. I love it, just very simple and dainty. And then I'm wearing these earrings from a subscriber as well. They're like clay. Okay, let's go have a breakfast, Sammy. All right, I didn't show you guys this recipe because I made an Instagram reel and a TikTok showing you exactly how to make it. But I used Meredith Dairy Sheep and Goat. I'm also eating a sun-dried tomato bagel today which is iconic and I'm gonna get them more often at my Wegmans. And then I have a spicy Beyond Breakfast sausage, an egg with a little bit of extra egg on top that like broke off, arugula, and then the other side is cheesed with the Meredith Dairy Sheep and Goat too. So that's all the ingredients with salt and pepper around top. Woo! -hoo! Look at the outside of this cutie Valentine I made. So cute. It's gonna go in my care package. Rue's helping me write Valentines. Wow. That's really hamming it up, Rue. Wow. I'm listening to a little ambiance video and watching it a little bit. It's kind of just on in the background while I write these valentines. It's going great so far. Six more to go. All right, y'all, I have my cards and my care package and I'm about to go to the post office. And then I think also I'll probably stop by the local coffee shop to get a matcha because I'm tired of shit. Every day when I wake up at eight, I'm tired of shit. Hi, silly ladies. Jojo Dina. You girls are so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Love you. You're just having a little snack. I'm gonna go home and have a little snack too. Love you girls. Hey y'all, I'm home y'all. And I got myself a matcha latte. Hi Rue. Oh my god, it's you. I'm so excited to see you too. I mailed out the package and all of my letters and then I stopped by the coffee shop and they recommended that I get this strawberry matcha, which is truly incredible. Do you want to try some Rue? It's incredible. You wouldn't like caffeine because you're totally caffeinated, just off life. 
But yeah, when I ordered it, the girl was like, we just got this new recipe in strawberry matcha for spring coming up. And I was like, absolutely, I'll try that. The last time I went, they gave me like a honey lavender matcha and it was also incredible. And they're the ones who suggested it. So I trust those ladies with my life, you know? And also I keep forgetting to bring my freaking reusable cup when I go there because normally I like keep one in the car but Finley's been using mine every day because he likes the sunflowers like he doesn't use a handheld mug at home anymore he like uses the other one and then the other one was dirty I left it in the dishwasher so now I have this cup just wanted to explain why but I know I don't really need to not the sustainability guilt <laughs> is getting to me brother but this is awesome they also I don't think that they have regular mugs there oh wait before I turn the camera off I wanted to show you I got a Valens wine card we love you pig time from heartwood haven and they said happy valentine's day thank you for being an extraordinary human because i donate occasionally to their fundraisers and stuff for their piggies heartwood haven is an amazing organization i know that a lot of people talk about gentle barn and stuff like that which is a great organization as well in california but i feel like everybody's always like oh if you want like an animal place to donate to donate to gentle barn but heartwood haven is truly doing the most for their piggies. I love doing their hay drives with them, feeding the hogs, all of it. So when they're raising money, I'm donating, you know what I mean? It's like I'm sponsoring the hogs, so love that. And they sent me that as a thank you, which is great. I am truly exhausted. I'm slowly coming back to life from this, but whoo, shit. It's really, you would think that a couple weeks of waking up at 8 a.m., a couple days out of the week, like that I would get used to it by now, but I'm just absolutely not. By 4 p.m., I'm just a shell of myself really not having any more energy but hopefully you know i'll just continue the day and be okay i gotta stream later tonight hello i'm back at the gym it's the next day last night all i did was stream and then eat little tiny vegetarian corn dogs before i went to bed so i just wanted to tell you that i'm going to a morning zumba class instead of my nighttime one tonight that my instructor switched to because finley and i are gonna go see avatar in 3d later on a date but i'm about to be late for class so i'll talk to you after wow it's raining really hard now it wasn't raining this hard before going in but um, we had a sub today and her name was Val and she was really cool and she also was just like a beauty queen like she was so beautiful I'm looking respectfully <laughs> I love commenting that on my friend's photos, like my friend Sasha, Silence Tippy. She posted a photo the other day and her donk was donkin'. So I commented, I'm looking respectfully, you know? Anyways, she was a queen. I loved the class. I thought that it was really high energy and great. We did a lot of like high knees and running and like lots of fun cardio. So always love that. Some people don't love that. Like they come to slower paced classes, especially like older people. But at the same time, like the instructors that I choose at this gym they're all really high energy like have really pop it pop it knees up uh, uh, you know i love that i want that from all of my classes you know finally got my lara bar open that one was a chore but um i'm probably gonna go to wegmans honestly just because i need some supplements and finley needs milk hi guys so i got raindrops on my glasses again but i just have to say I love shopping on a Thursday or a Tuesday morning after a Zumba class. It's really fantastic. And I also want to say I am the type of person who, you know, I take my daily supplements for what I believe I'm deficient in or want to get more of, but I'm going to a doctor's appointment in March and I'm going to actually get a hormone panel and get like blood work done to see what I'm truly deficient in because, you know, supplements, it's like I take a lot of stuff because I I don't eat meat I only eat fish and I don't eat fish very often so a lot of the supplements that I'm taking are like iron because I used to be anemic but I don't know if I still am that's why I want to get the hormone panel and like the testing done you know with my blood and whatnot but I am definitely like a supplement girly like I believe in the power of supplements and like getting those things into your body that you need that you're not getting through your diet and so that being said I want to show you what I got also just like some superfoods are fun to put into your diet every now and again so other than Finley's milk which is the homestead creamery whole milk yesterday after I got a strawberry matcha from the coffee shop I was like you know 
know what? I need to start drinking more matcha at home. And this one I found from Host Defense, which is an amazing mushroom company. They make this myco brew matcha with freaking lion's mane in it. And so I'm gonna try these and see how they go. But I think that that would be good for like an afternoon pick me up when I wake up really early, you know, and I need something around three to 4 p.m. And then I just got more of my gentle iron. I take this every day. For Finley, he's been taking this daily immune support blend and he's actually really been enjoying it. So he's been taking it for a month and then he ran out. So I went and I got him more. And this one compared to like other brands like this, like Host Defense had one that was like $15 for the same amount, but I'm pretty sure this one is 12. So it's like not that much of a difference, but this also, the reason we get this one is because it's made from fruiting body extract, which means it's getting the most of the mushroom. So specifically for the organic cordyceps mushroom, it gets it from the fruit and body. So that's what you want to look for on the side. Okay. And then I actually got this to put into my kombuchas that I drink like multiple times a week, just because it's really easy to just throw a tincture in there and like not taste it as much. And I really need something as a daily immune system booster. And this one has echinacea, astragalus, reishi, something I can't pronounce, shisandra berry, and prickly ash bark, which are all wonderful immune boosting herbs. And all of my herb cabinet is in storage right now. Like my entire herbalism collection is tucked away. So that's why I'm like purchasing stuff like this and not making it for myself. But it's a very expensive market. Like also Wegmans is an expensive, reasonably so grocery store. So they have all of the like health foods and stuff. So I like to look at their selection, see what's going on sometimes, you know what I mean? But um, I'm going to try that daily immune support because y'all hear that? Got a little drippy drip over here today. And I don't know if it's just like a weather change or an allergy thing, but I just want to boost my immune system. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Just wanted to talk to you about it, I guess. New candle alert. This is my new favorite company to buy candles from, Flame and Fable Co. They're like based in my old town in Oregon. I showed them in an episode of Vlogmas because I bought a big sized candle for my friend Summer, but I wanted to get this one for spring for myself. So this is Belle's Library, which is garden rose, lemon cake, and aged paper. Let's take a whiff. Mm, love it. It's definitely a really good spring candle. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'm taking another bath today because I don't need to wash my hair, just my body after Zumba. I'm going to dump in these, the black elderberry and vitamin D for a little immune support. All right, I made another delicious breakfast Sammy and I'm gonna finish my episode of Gilmore Girls. I'm on season six, episode one. I started this episode in the bath because I just thought it was a good day to take a bath. You know, it's really gloomy and rainy out and I didn't wash my hair so I'm out now and I put on the same outfit as yesterday just because I felt like it was a good outfit and it needed a second day. Why not? Every day this week, the tulips have been getting closer and closer to sprouting in our front yard by this tree surrounding those rocks there. Oh my God, I can't wait for spring. It's gonna be great. I've been putting off the laundry since Sunday when I started this vlog. So I'm gonna put away these baskets, clean up my many slippers I have around and this laundry too. I think this is clean. I'm pretty sure it is. I just need to do a little readjusting in here. So without further ado, I'm gonna do a little cleanup right now. Wow, guys incredible so happy that i finally did all that laundry i seriously was putting it off i'm so proud of myself rude just like i'm so proud of you every time you get a good stretch in larry's over here being such a little sweetie cuddly cutie pie and now it's time because the house is clean to light my candle bill spends her days curled up in her velvet chair tea and lemon cakes atop the table beside her and as always nose buried in a book shelf upon shelf of old dusty tomes line the walls around her each day she grabs another exploring every new world she can before the last petal falls i feel like this is going to be a good intro to spring candle for me rue it's kind of a good transition scent 
from like cold months to warm months, you know? And now that my laundry is finally done, I am going to end off this vlog because I got everything done in this video that I wanted to get done and shared all of the things from Super Bowl to Valentine's Day to some workouts. I'm gonna go to Body Pump in the morning, Zumba on Saturday. That's the move for me. Have a nice chill weekend, go see Avatar tonight. But thanks so much for watching. I know you guys have been really enjoying the long form vlogs like over an hour. So I definitely think that this one made the cut. I was talking a lot, but hope you loved it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe if you're not already. I always forget to say that nowadays. I need to remind more people, hit the subscribe. Okay, anyways, love you. I will see you guys in my next video. And when I'm not on here, you can find me on Patreon for extra content and live streaming on Twitch three times a week, 8 p.m. Eastern, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm there playing games, chatting, hanging out. So if you want more from me, you know where to find me. Okay, <laughs> stay smiling. Bye y'all.